There are a lot of stupid news and panic stories out there and I just thought I would record a fun video. You know, I got a bit bored and sad of this Armageddon feeling and I thought I will make a video that will maybe cheer you up. And if this video will cheer you up then just let me know. Let's get into this. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's so hot in here. Whew. Today is an important day. It's an important day because I'm not sure when I'm gonna post again. Uh, people might need my help and I'm not sure if I can focus on my YouTube channel. But the good news is that even though the government is closing down all the gatherings that are for a hundred or more people, I shouldn't really worry about it because typically there are only 20 people watching my channel. So. I'm good in there. <laughs> Let's go. First thing first, I need a coffee, but let's see if the coffee shop is closed because everything is just shut down. Come on, Grandma. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sharing any secrets in here. As you guys heard it, this virus was started in China because they ate bats. But I'm not even sure if they ate bats. Probably the new Batman movie just went wrong. Or, or probably somebody else went wrong. Yeah, I think this wasn't even started by the Chinese. Uh, is Ozzy on an Asian tour? <laughs> Ozzy... <laughs> It turned out that it wasn't a plastic bat, it was a real one. Or probably just another self-proclaimed spiritual guru was talking about the remedies of, of drinking bath water. And somebody misheard it and they drank bath water. <sighs> <laughs> Technically, it shouldn't even be a big deal like this, but wherever you go and wherever you click on the internet, the only thing you see is this virus. It's like having an open window up in your brain that you cannot close. And the worst part of this is that even the porn is different. They told us to not touch the face and look, he's infecting her. He's touching her face with everything. <laughs> yeah, because with this virus outbreak, you learn three things. Wash your hands, do not touch your face and buy freaking toilet paper. Yeah, now if you go in a store, you can literally not find toilet paper anymore. Yeah, with that one, it's officially empty. <laughs> yeah, because before Valentine's Day, you were just swiping it. And a month later, you're just wiping it. <laughs> Even the people in Sephora and Uta are confused right now because a month ago you put everything on your face just to look nicer and now you're buying everything just to cover it. Talking about the covered face, I just bought something on Amazon and it's really stupid but I would do everything and anything just to survive this virus outbreak. Uh, let's go home and I will show you what I bought. But it's not here yet. So I only have toilet paper, Lysol, hand sanitizer, a mask, hand soap, Huggies, blackhead cleaner, and Parmesan cheese. Yes, I ordered these goggles, but it will only arrive here on Tuesday. And I did this because this virus just got in America. So instead of listening to the doctors that are as confused as you are, I listened to this guy. Another mask. Apparently this mask actually doesn't do much, but two masks is always better than one. Hopefully nothing's getting in through my mouth. Can I forget the most important thing? And the silliest thing. Right. Oh my god. He was in China and he got home in London without getting infected. If you want to watch his entire vlog, just click here. Here. Now let's concentrate on the good side of it. After 30 years, I learned how to not pick my nose. And I learned how to wash my hands, um, you know, properly. Because back before this, even a shower took me shorter than now a hand wash. You know, I'm a male. 
and you know I wasn't ever able to use my Italian but now I just go out in a store and I'm like buongiorno because <laughs> <coughs> that's, that's how Italians are coughing <laughs> and in four seconds there is nobody next to you <laughs> look at here <laughs> they only left the Italian sausage here <laughs> Now let's look at this a bit more realistic. You cannot go to events anymore, so the next step up is gonna be the house quarantine. And I can only see two outcomes with this house quarantine. It's either you stay home for two weeks like it's Christmas, you eat everything, and after a while you just start hating each other. Or maybe you guys will get a bit closer to each other. Who knows? Cause just imagine, you guys are home for two weeks now. You ate all your toilet paper already. You watched everything that was on Netflix. And after a moment you're like, hmm, what should we do now, honey? Oh wow, when did you get this robe? 15 years ago. Well, let's get it off. <laughs> so who knows, maybe the hospitals are overwhelmed right now because of the coronavirus, but in December they will be overwhelmed because of the newborns. And then Trump can say, oh, we're closing the coronavirus with a million newborns. Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions. I just dropped my car off for an oil change and now I'm walking here in the sketchy area and probably that's not the best idea uh, let me show you Car is in nice shape. The what? Your car is in nice shape. Is it? It's pretty good. Okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> no problem, bud. He likes the compliments. <laughs> you have a great day. Bye bye. I thought I would get home a lot sooner, but the store was packed. Crazy. You know I'm somewhat ambivert and when my introvert side kicks in and they tell me that I need to stay home for two weeks, well, that's just a gift for me. You can finally do something that we all love to do and even when your girlfriend or wife asks you, why aren't we going anywhere? Guess why mama? And you know a lot of people are saying that the coronavirus is similar to the flu and might be, but I'm also saying that the coronavirus is similar to being in a marriage. Because now you need to realize that this exists and people are traveling from a country to another country just to get out of this. And just like in an old relationship, you guys are like, don't touch me. And the same rules apply. You don't go anywhere tonight, you stay home. <laughs> and even if you go, you will need to remember who you met in the past two weeks. And the biggest similarity is that you don't know how it will end. You can be young and it will go fast and easy. But if you're old, if you're old, this is really different for the old ones and after laughing for the past five minutes i'll need to ask you something when you were young people who are old now were taking care of you and we might not stay in touch for the next couple of months but you should not ignore any of your relations help when you can and help when you are needed and when this goes away we will hug each other again but until then just please take care of yourself and your loved ones and and stay healthy see you in the next one Bye-bye.